our practice stroke today, we're going to use a 16 flat and we're going to use a scruffy, a quarter inch scruffy brush. All right, these are brushes from my signature brushes, but you can also get these brushes on in my value pack. So value pack of brushes, I have the different brushes, they're all on onestroke.com, all spelled out, one stroke. Okay, so let me show you, we're going to use our double loader. I have floating medium in the middle. I have sap green, citrus green. These are all folk art multi-surface paints. So they blend shade and highlight. They, they're got sealer in them and they're perfect for glass, metal, ceramic, anything you want to work with. Okay, so I'm going to do a calla lily today. All right, and I, it's just another stroke showing you different strokes with our brushes. And I'm going to come right here and I'm going to split the brush and put two thirds of the daffodil yellow and one third yellow ochre. So I'm going to work this in mostly daffodil. And then I can even pick up a little bit of white if I want to. But daffodil and yellow ochre. Okay, so the first thing you do for this Calvary is you learn this stroke, which is that's the bottom stroke. It's a U. That's the bottom stroke of the rosebud. Okay. So then I'm going to come up here and do a little line. These are great for weddings and to do a nice card if somebody's passed away. How these are nice, really. All right, so I'm going to start at the chisel. You want your brush straight up and down, but I'm going to angle it so you can see. I come down, I push hard, 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 and I come down and I curl across. All right, now I want to show you that curl. All right, I'm chisel, pressure, stand up, and roll the brush over. So chisel, flat, chisel, lay it over. All right. So I keep coming over here and picking up more paint. I want you to do your homework and practice these. It's really nice to see how it turns out. And practice makes a difference. See? Now, I'm not happy that this isn't a nice point. So you can come up here and stroke over, stroke over, and clean it up. All right, so I'm going to do this again because I want you all to see. This is a little trickier than some of the other practicing. So I want you to see that if I come back this way and push down and then stroke back over, oops, I want this smooth. Okay, let's do it again. So one thing that helps you is you put a straight line up there and then you come down here and do the trumpet part. This is the base. So I can come right here and come right back up. All right, so now look what happens. I'm gonna chisel, then pressure, stand up, and roll that brush. That one did really well. Chisel, pressure, and then roll it over. And I really, did you see how slow I went? It's important that you go slow enough that you can make that move. This one's where I'm reversing it. I still need to have my trumpet, I mean, my base down there. But I'm coming here and then stand up. But what I want to do is fill in the middle. There you go. So look, I can come around like this and I can clean it up by going across again. I'm going to get more white. See how I'm getting more white? Let's do it again. I want you to practice because you can go over and over and over it. Look at that. Okay. 
right. Now, I'm not going to use the scruffy. It's a little big, but I use like scruffy right down here, the center. The lids, because it's so small, I can use a scruffy that's not fluffed. <laughs> But I, I, I want you to fluff your scrubbies. So here we go. So I'm going to take a little bit of this yellow ochre. And then we're going to do the stamen in the middle. All right, I'm going to get a teen. I've got a little bit of burn umber here. Could use green, but so I'm just tapping. This is a six flat. Okay, so then what's going to happen is I take the yellow ochre and just a touch of white. So watch this. I'm going to put the white on one side. They even do these on fingernails. So, but you're using a little teeny one script liner. <laughs> okay, so see, I'm putting a light on one side and a dark on the other. Okay. There's fancier um, cow lilies, but this is a simple one. Okay, so then I'm going to come right in here and work it in on my double loader. Right here, work it in. Get some medium. Okay, so now look, I'm going to grab little teeny strokes. See my little finger is pulling me. Here we go. One, two, three. Let's pull these. One, two. I'm going to get some more dark green. Okay, so now one little trick that helps us is that I take this, here's my leaf. I'm going to go on one side and go a little bit of a wave. Okay, a little bit of a wave. Oops, boy, you can tell I needed medium. So I added a little bit of medium. Okay, and then I pull my stem up into it. Okay, now let me show you. This will make it easier for you. I'm going to get medium, work it in. Okay, now watch this. I want to come right here on the chisel, push, and stand up. This is your chisel. So, all right. So I'm going to turn it upside down and look, chisel, more paint, all right. So I'm going to pick up more paint, go right here and get some medium. Okay, now watch this one. We're going to chisel, push, chisel, and we'll... Okay. Aren't those kind of fun? Okay. So go practice and share it with me. Hope you like that. Bye-bye.